Well, this morning I came across this article on Melvin Zhong, written by Melvin Zhong. Is micromanaging your supporting needs good or bad? Micromanaging. This is a very very hot topic. So let's just see what it say. As you can see from the title above, this is a question from a talent development manager who wants to know more about micromanaging and how it impacts the team. When this question was thrown at me, I immediately relate. To a model I learned from a leadership workshop and coaching workshop called Skill and View Matrix. Oh, Skill and View Matrix! I never come across that yet. So now, Skill and View Matrix is a simple model that compares willingness to perform a task. Well, I mean, um. Say for example that um, yeah, um, I'm willing to sell in my early days. I'm willing to sell. Uh, to learn, I mean, willing to sell insurance. But the thing is that I don't have the skill to selling. So and the degree of knowledge and skill. Have to perform. So, this degree of knowledge and skill is quite important. When talking about micromanaging the staff,、um, we want to see how the manager observe and evaluate their staff because there's no one size fits all. Oh, there is no one size fits all. Yeah. The manager can only use micromanage approach. For some some of the staff under his care. So let's see where micromanaging works using the skill and view metrics. Oh, actually, there's a way that micromanaging can works. Not for everything, but it has its way. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Let's learn view and skill metrics. Let's see. Wow, Lao Ye. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. First, you draw a line on view and draw a line on skill. All right. Let's just go about here. Okay. So I can just copy this here. Now, for example, that um um, I'm gonna use this here. Okay. Cool. This is not that hard. Okay. Cool. Okay. Skill and view. All right, so I'm transforming it here. So there's a view here, and、um, I also have this skill here. Okay, so basically this is it. Okay, and、um, and what do you have? Okay, what do you have? Um, able, able, unable, unable. Okay, cool. So let's just cut it here.、Mm. Okay. So then I have able. So the skill is very high. It's able, and、uh, also able. This one is got a view and. Unable, no wheel. I guess no wheel, right? I think it's no wheel, right? Because unable, unable. Okay, let's just watch the delivery plan. Unable, unwilling. Oh, that become unwilling because unable is become view. Okay, cool. That's unwilling. Okay, cool. Um, let's unable, unwilling. Hmm. Oh, okay. So unable, 
unveiling. Okay, unveiling. And really, okay. There's a view. So there's a saying like um, "willing, able, willing." That's a, it's a, it's a ninja, right? cool. And then what else you have? Unable, unwilling, willing. How do you read this? Uh? very, very unique. Okay, cool. Rock. Paper scissor. What is this? Right. Okay. Cool. So um, the major can use this framework and place their stuff into one of four categories: high view, low skill. Category one. So where is it? High view, low skill. In the lah, there again. Okay. So that is category one. High view, low skill. The employee is motivated in their work. Okay, there's motivated in the work, but need to gain a skill to perform their duties, right? So, they are usually early in their stage and need to familiarize themselves with the company culture and process. Guiding can use this category because they need the information and technique to inform, to perform their tasks. Wow, that was cool, man. That was cool. Let's take like a look at here, man. Okay, so... um. Okay, so uh, it will be somewhere here, right? Uh, that is the, that is this category. So, is high view. Okay, high view. Cool. I'm going to use this here. Change to, well, I can't change that to something else. Huh? Okay. All right. Um, let me just go here. Okay, this is the category. High view, low skill. Okay, so um, this is shared by Melvin Chong, right? So um, I'll just put it here, Melvin Chong. Okay, share. So unable, so unable. So because of a low skill, right, it just can't get it done. So they so so are able, but unwilling. Uh -huh. Unwilling. Okay, able, unwilling, unable, unwilling, unable and unwilling. Okay, cool. Um, let's just see. Continue then. Okay. So category is high view, high skill. All right. What is this? High view, high skill. What is this? Uh? Let's look at that. Well, again, I can. Um, okay, high view, high skill. High view, high skill. They say this employee has above average capability and is willing to compete tasks as above capability. The manager should not micro manage this group of people. It creates doubt in the employee on the ability to perform a task. Okay, so yeah, so so yeah, you know that Excel Ninja is the is the is the group of people right that you cannot right. So um, okay, let's just continue on this case. And there is a low skill, low view right. What is this? A low skill, low view. How can we deal with low skill, low view right? Um, that is quite of a. I no idea, right? Let's see. What's a low skill, low wheel? So, um, this category is typical still learning, and in terms of it, they may prefer to do nothing. Prefer to do nothing. I have the title. <laughs> <laughs> this command is tricky and the microwave is approved for this stuff category such as ah regular check-in frequent feedback ah okay so high view low skill is here 
So they need to familiar themselves with the new culture, right? So I think this is not only just the new one, but whoever enter a new company, they need to familiar with the culture. Okay, cool. And then uh, finally is that there is a group called what? Able but unwilling. Uh, how do we do with this able and unwilling fellow? Yeah? Uh, I don't know. Leh. Let's see. Able but unwilling. Uh. Wow, wow, yeah. Able and unwilling. Can deal. Uh. Let's see. No wonder talent management. Uh. How do you manage these four type people? Right? High skill, low view. Wow, wow, yeah. Let's see. Okay, let's see. High skill, low view. High skill, low view. High skill, low view. Okay, high skill, low view. So what is that? High skill, low view. Okay, high skill, low view. So high skill, this type of employee knows their role very well. Has the skill and knowledge, but needs to be more engaged Micromanage won't work on them because they need more motivation to do the work. It requires more moral and emotional support. Such a regular conversation and develop and break career aspiration. So the purpose of sharing this framework is that oh okay. Okay, so there is a purpose of sharing this. Okay, cool. So there you go. And uh I got this Oh, it's over here, man. Okay, the purpose of sharing this is so that you, as Hedgehog personnel, can evade the manager action. As a Hedgehog can evade the manager action based on the members under his. If you find out that most people within this have high skill and view, you can converse with the manager and give back feedback on the approach. We can only make a better decision by doing the whole team picture. Wow, cool. All right, so um, so it seems like so it's like. So it's like this one here, they are able, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to do I can work upside down, but I don't want to do <laughs> You manage this kind of extra ninja, you got problem, right? Uh, this one is... Uh, so they prefer do nothing, sleep, right? prefer they sleep. Better they sleep here, right? So they stay home, they sleep, right? They do nothing one. So... You got to micromanage. No, you can. You got to micromanage them. Yeah, that's true, man. In many ways, yeah, this that's a very cool, true thing, yeah. And then um, I don't want to fit thing here. Um, just make it uh, even more cool. Okay, that's the one. Okay, cool. So um, I got minor micromanage it, huh? Okay, and this one here, you don't need to. Okay, so I'm gonna do this here. Okay, able, unable. So, uh, if you hire someone is unable and unwilling, then, yeah. But if you hire someone that is able but unwilling, then you need to give emotional support. So, then, if you hire someone is able and willing, then, uh, Then you want to do what? You this major should not should not manage micro in this group. Should not uh, so it's a should not man. So and then you have a uh, unable and willing. 
Ku. So that is talent management. Skill and real metrics. <laughs> so um, so I give my example for myself is that during my early days I do the uh, I want to f I fix the computer or uh, when I joined that I fixed the computer in kindergartens right um oh uh, you ask me to go to any kindergarten I'll go do it and um, but I don't know how to f fix the ear f the headphone right so uh, I'm willing but then I'm, I'm able right because I don't have the skill and um, so I have a on the job training but my manager is not willing to teach me so then I have to go then um, then But if you don't teach me, and for a while, I will shift to if I have, um, I'm not a highly motivated person, I will shift to here and say, like, okay, la, no need to do, la, no need to do, la, okay, do nothing, right? <laughs> we have a title, right? So, uh, this company is tricky, and my company is appropriate for this stuff, such as regular check in and frequent feedback. Okay, so. So the idea is that uh, move then to here, right? This is the ultimate goal, right? We're gonna move to high view, high skill. So, um, so for example, that I uh, hired uh, my first HR manager. So I, I need to make sure that she move to here, right? Because she's a willing person, and uh, and. Um, and it has a strong will to join our company, which is a considered still a startup. If you compare to, um, you know, um, hundred years, right? This company could stay for hundred years as an inter company. Then, um, we are really not uh, talking about. We are just still a startup. Okay, still a startup. Okay. So. So then, um, she want to be a trainer, or she express it in during the interview, and um, so as a talent management manager indirectly, um, I'll say that okay, uh, well, uh, I will, I will give you, uh, I will uh, send you for train the trainer, right? As yeah, because that is what you want, right? So. So and it is in aligned with our company goal, so and a mission. So that's why um that is very important, yeah. So as for um able but unwilling, so I make sure that um uh, that um my hash major will be happy um uh, that uh not moving to here because many companies train their staff and um but but you micromanage on them so train the stuff they become really highly as skillful but then you micromanage them then it will you know it will move into this category yeah so then and not really good right so once you move here this is your training competitor <laughs> okay whatever it is right so yeah, so this is shared by Melvin Jong, right? If you want to know more about him, you can always go to his uh, link in and check out me. Check out Melvin Chong, right? From Sovereign Consulting, Zhang Zhen Zhong, right? Yeah. All right, I, um, I do learn something useful today. And thanks for Melvin Chong. Cool. Oh, by the way, why not I just take. <laughs> All right, copy this and uh, put it right ah uh, CD. Okay, I paste it here. Go to format, crop it, crop the zoom. Um, okay, this one I'll put it to five, and uh, maybe just a few more. Cool.
Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching.